if you if you sign to a label and you want to say shoot a video, mm -hmm. let's say I want to shoot one right here, all right? So I got to have a complete budget for it, like production budget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got to get permits. I got to get all this extra shit to be able to shoot right here, right? Right. That's a lot of time wasted. It takes weeks to just put all that together, right? Mm. So he was the type of person where he come up with the video first and then come up with the song. The so he's already directed the video in his head, like what he wants to do, storyboarded it mentally, what he wants to go shoot. Now he go create the record, right? And That's goes, so by the time he creates the record, mm -hmm. he like, yo, we're shooting. When? Tomorrow. Beast. Right? Tomorrow. Now, mind you, when you signed us, it's been working this way. This is how we've been doing it. So I'm not changing it, right? So we would have to front the bread to go shoot it because if we waited on the label, we'd be take we, five months we, for them to we, we wouldn't get nowhere. Wow, so most retarded. artists that's taking a that's deal, crazy. right? Most artists taking a deal, they're taking it for that bread that they're gonna invest in them, right? But right. they get stalled out because if they don't got the money themselves to actually put in, then that label is gonna take thirty net sixty whatever it is to pay you out. So put it so like you this. better have cash if flow. I need to shoot, if I need to shoot a video right now and I'm signed to a label. There's not like a discretionary fund I can use to go and just, just like just that. Go grab the bread if it costs fifty, sixty thousand to shoot it. I can grab the bread from there and shoot the video. Mm -hmm. Instead, you have to call them, tell them what you're trying to do, mm -hmm. and they're like, "All right, bet." And then let's just say if I didn't have the bread to shoot it, I'd be waiting like four or five months for them to get. Well, the no, bread. four weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, maybe. It, it, there was one invoice that did take about that long. <laughs> so you're not wrong, but I'm just saying it would take a long time before you do it. And by then you're like, bro, I'm, most of the time when you're building a career, you're moving off of pulse Momentum. and moments, right? So you're right. creating these moments. And, so you can't move like that. You can't mm -hmm. store him as an artist for f fucking four weeks to shoot this mm -hmm. when right. we could have it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. Yeah. that happened, being in the deal. So we're fronting all the bread and getting reimbursed. So partner, the label is fronting all the bread and we're getting re reimbursed, right? And and we're growing. And I'm like, bro, this is so dumb. Like, we're growing by taking a loan out over here. You know what I'm money saying? That we already and we're have. getting 16%. Right. Hold on. And the six and hold on. If we spend a hundred thousand dollars, they've got a distribution fee, 20%, mm -hmm. before you get into your actual deal. So that's gone. So now you got eighty thousand. Now you're getting 16% of the 80,000, mm -hmm. all right? So wherever you're left off at, 13, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you spent 100, you got 13,000. Your recruitment is coming from that 13,000. 10, yeah. Which they, is they, they're pocketing everything that else. That shit is so, nothing. So, but That's you have to pay back so you from in your debt small percentage. The whole time, you yeah. can make half a million dollars and you're still in debt. Right. Mm -hmm. Robbery. Right? So you're in debt the whole time. The so the further we go along, they get to like, they get to do like the damage control, right? So we're unhappy. He goes, oh, we're going to do a meeting. We go into the meeting. I'm unhappy about this, this, this. We have a list. We're going to make it right. We're going to make it right. They call the team in. Rah! Screams at everybody. Cool, all right. Everything's going to be right, right? <laughs> Everything's gonna hold be on, right, hold right? On, hold on, before the before the team before the team gets in the office, uh, yo. before the team gets in the office, the and CEO goes out sent. and says, "Look, I'm gonna yell at y'all real quick. Just take it. You know, it's not personal." You know, <laughs> yo, yo, it's really, crazy. I'm, I'm really yo, yo you, mind you, I'm sitting in the other room. I, 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 so I'm like, make sure they can hear it. What the fuck did I tell you? Yeah, that's so the conference room here. Put them in the side room so they can hear what we're saying to thirty people in there, and it's like. Who the fuck is doing this? Crazy. Yeah. Like the talk is nuts. Mm -hmm. Like when I saw that Dane video, it was like that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they were going, they were going wild in there. And I'm like, oh, they mean business. Okay, they get it. They understand the frustration. They understand they gotta pay their shit on time. They understand <laughs> yeah, like they gotta they gotta yeah, they, they gotta build into the Joint Lucas business a little bit. 
So we leave. <laughs> what happens? Give me a minute to realize that. Hold on, what happens? Another six months pass, right? Right. Yeah. So now you in the deal a whole year. Yeah. So y'all thought that, that argument was serious? Yeah, we thought Yo, it was yeah, real. They don't yeah, have any man. reason to believe it's Yo, not. Yo, as as you screaming we, at 30 people. As soon as we left the office, it was like, Yo, Drew, they really, they really They get it now. <laughs> like, finally. <laughs> Yo, Drew, they really care, nigga. Yo, they, they, they really care. Yo, that shit crazy. Yeah. Niggas, but they really fuck with us. They just fucked up that a couple times, but they gonna get it together, Drew. Right. Don't worry anyway, about it. Anyway, so right. so check. Yeah. So, so check. Let's let's just wait it out. So check. So join it. Join in our We're a year in, and he's like, he's like, bro, this is crazy. Like nothing's changing. Nothing's changing. Yo, yo, talk about the flight. Oh damn. My nigga, I try to get a first class flight. Oh no, hold on. It wasn't just the first class flight. What was it? He needed a first class flight to go shoot Lucky You with Eminem in Detroit. Oh, yeah. They told me no. The label told you no? The label Bro. told me no. Wow. Listen, he, he about to shoot. That's a single. That's top three record. You know what I'm saying? That hit top three on Billboard. He about to shoot this Mind with you, M. It's a move. It's a move that I made. Nothing that they did. They nothing they did. Away. This is, so he nice. did it directly this with Royce. Is, you feel me? This is right. some shit. I yeah. built a relationship Shout with Shout out Royce. Royce. Shout, Shout out, out to Royce. my brother right. Royce. Yeah. I built a relationship directly with Royce and then we went through Marshall and you know, and then I built my own relationship with him in which we got a record and did the record. And I had to go to Detroit to shoot the video. I had asked Atlantic that they could pay for the first class because again, I'm not making money at the time. A lot of people think- 16%, because, mind yeah, you. Mm. That's not, fully recoupable. You know, I was with Atlantic or whatever. Hold on, you took the advance in October 20, uh, 15? 16. 16? Yeah. 16? You shot this in 2018. So that 100K is gone, bro. Yeah. It's two years. Yeah. The first thing I did with the 100K is I retired <laughs> my mom. I gave her half the shit. It's or a year, mom. whatever. It's gone. After 100K and the manager get paid out, Sha got his cut and the fucking lawyer got their cut and yada, yada, yada. I ended up with like 60 man. And then That's the other 30, at the 30 of it, I gave to my mom. So the quarter job, not realizing yeah, he that. Yeah, he did too. Not realizing I wasn't gonna see no more bread after that. Cause he's so thinking Vault, he gonna come in or something. Out some other, I had to do some. Change. What happened to the shows? What happened to? There's bro, no shows. There wasn't really no shows at the time. Apart from that, um, I asked Atlantic if they can spend money on his first class flight, and they told me no. They mm. said they said. That's crazy. The words were. <laughs> um, he's, cause I'm fighting for it, right? I'm like, yo, can you? Can you just book him a flight? Not, a, like, private, not a private jet. Not a private jet. Just, just, just give him a first class flight. Down to Detroit, right? Yeah. right? To just Detroit. To Detroit. Uh, to Detroit. Like Am, seven, America, Detroit, Airlines. Like Max, a thousand. Uh, not even. Not even. Seven hundred. You know you what I'm saying? The word was, hold on, hold on, hold on. he's not at that level yet. We have that for other artists. That's what like, they said. That's right. And then the references were the A-list artists at the label. Should've been like, didn't you just have my picture next to Ed Sheeran? Yeah, man. It's crazy. It's not worth flight? Them niggas crazy. Them niggas wouldn't pay for my first class flight. And I said, Drew. I said, we got to get the fuck off this label, bro. These and guys, they knew you was going to do this, do this for yeah. him? They didn't give a fuck. They wow, care, that's bro. crazy. Bro, this is, no, no, but hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. You, they knew, they you, you got the CEO yeah. who's running the company, right? Then you got the executives, right? Mm -hmm. Then you've got the management team, mm -hmm. right? And then you've got the um, the leadership of the, your project managers, and then you've got the project managers and the A&Rs and everybody right. else, right? So does the CEO know He's going to go shoot with Eminem. Probably not. I would imagine not. Right? But everything's delegated. The CEO, his top priority is Bruno Mars. Mm -hmm. Is the big talent. They're hands-on with that situation. They're not hands-on with Jordan, who mm -hmm. just recently signed six months ago. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? And he's not like a trendy artist that's just like got a billboard record or something. Like right. it's his plays is very, like, it's it's for the long term, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, when we say we don't, who know? Like, the executive, know? I don't know, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But the point is, you know, they've created a structure and a process for every team and department to follow, and you are a person that falls into a tier. Right. He's like a tier, and he's a tier one artist because he's over tier. here. He's right. a tier two artist because wow. we invested this much. Here's a tier three artist, that's a $10 million artist right there. Here's a tier four artist, this is this is the guy that's moving the building a little bit. Then it got here's to a the tier five, where, who's a hundred million dollars. Shaw started to see it. He started to see it and then he he um I got him on, you know, fighting with us to get off. You know, he would go in there and you know, um So it wasn't all bad. 
He he went in there and just played, he played his role. He played his role. He just right. played his, played his role. pleasure of he how didn't he flip. treated me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Whatever, he played his whatever. role. Um, that was that. And then then there was shit like we went on tour. 